Hello everyone, I will be doing a reading for MP. She's asked me for a general reading, so I'll be doing the Celtic Cross. Um, I'm going to be using the Dreams Inspirational Card Deck. And I'm going to use this as a message uh, just to pick up one card. Okay, so let's see. Just a general message. Sorry about that. I'm just trying to figure out the cards here. All right. Okay. Just going to fan them out and pick out one card. And I'm getting the number 12 card. This is the feast card and this is talking about abundance. Um, as you see here, this is a feast um, is always pe a lot of food, a lot of gathering, a lot of people talking, celebration. So it's, it's really saying that um, there's going to be something very positive coming out very soon. Um, basically saying that there's going to be a lot of celebration um, about a situation and then you're going to be receiving good news about something. It's also talking about new feelings um, and changes. So it's going to be very positive changes coming about. Okay. So that's that. I'm going to close this deck. This deck is really good. I really love it and it, it really gives out um, good like good feedback and been very accurate for me lately. So recommend it highly. Okay, I'm going to be using for the regular tarot deck the Mona Lisa tarot deck. Okay, and let's see. Okay, then I'm going to break them in three, put them in one pile. We're going to start with the first card, which is the center of the situation right now. Okay, and the first card is the lover's card. This is a card of decisions, um, having to make decisions about a situation. Now, um, I see a lot of people involved in this card. A lot of people are involved in this situation. Um, However, I don't see anything negative right now in the present. Okay, let's see the other card that crosses it. But I don't see anything um, that seems negative in the card. It's just a lot of people involved in this decision that's going on right now. The crossing card is either an obstacle or it could be a, a positive um, card crossing this situation. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. Now, in this card, um, what I see is that um, basically it's talking about either you or you and someone else, okay? And it's you, either you and your husband or you and, and a special person in your life. And it's saying that you have to basically let go a little bit and trust a little bit more. Um, the other person that you're with. That's what this card is, is talking to me, telling me. Uh, confide more. Um, basically, there's a lot of love in your, in, your, in your love life right now. Even though this has nothing to do with, well, it has to do with the lover's card because it's love. But it's also saying that, even though this is talking about decisions, it's saying that in, it, this involves this other person. 
and it's saying, to, but the general feeling I'm getting of this card is saying to trust and to let go a little bit because you're being a little bit um, tensioned, uh, um, precautious, which is good, but not too good if you overdo it. Okay, so that's what this is crossing. So it's a saying in general, you have a lot of protection right now um, over you in, in this decision that you have to make. A lot of support. The next card is the underlying situation. It could be something unexpected. It could be, in general, anything. And it's saying this is the death card. The death card is always a decision. Um, also, a radical changes. Um, as you see here, there's going to be a lot of unexpected issues, and there's going to be a lot of things that are going to be changing. Um, so there's going to be a surprise. Um, you see here a person look at themselves in the mirror, and basically it's totally unexpected um, what they're seeing. They're just like, okay, what should I do now about the situation that's coming about? So it's going to be a lot of changes, but it's also going to be an ending of some sort, of, of something that you've been wanting to end, something that you've been, it's, that's been dragging or it's been lingering this is going to be the ending or the conclusion of that situation okay the next card is the recent past or it could be even happening at this moment and it's the knight of cups now what i'm getting here is a proposal okay the knights are always bringing something out bringing uh news that's coming to your direction and what i'm seeing is positive news um, but it's also talking about a person it could be a young man that's bringing you some kind of information okay uh, it could be positive. Um, what I'm seeing here is positive. You've got to see the other cards that come out in here in the, the next positions. The next card is having to do with that and has is the King of Swords. Now, this card is, as we see here, there is a man here that he's drawing and, okay, basically like, you know, a little bit, he looks like a little strict, a little bit, um, kind of you see him drawing and he's carefully trying to make his, his his painting here now I don't see him as a negative uh, card or a negative person but he's very picky about situations um, so this card has to do this proposal that's coming your way um, has to do with this man now all the colors that I see in this card are very vibrant they're not negative they're not dark or anything like that so I do see a nice aura around this man, even though he's very picky and very, um, a bit like, has a little bit of a temper, okay? Uh, the next card is a future, and I'm getting the Fool. Now, the Fool is always new beginnings, again, unexpected things, so there's a lot of changes that are going around you right now, because I do see a lot of major arcanas and very drastic major arcana cards. So basically, um, this card is saying that you're going to be receiving something. As you see, there's a person here. This 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 man here. He is receiving kind of. He's receiving money. He's receiving and he's blindfolded at the same time. And there's this person that's giving him something. So you're going to be receiving some kind of information that's unexpected. But at the same time, you're starting something completely new. Okay. So let's see what the other cards have to say. But so far has is involves this man okay the next card is the aura of the situation the environment around you um, and I have the moon now the moon is always a card of deceptions uh, trickery um, so you have to be kind of careful um, with something that that looks too good to be true or that um, doesn't seem very like what you think it is. Okay, I'm gonna end. I'm going to end it right now because I'm going. I'm running out of time, but I'm going to continue in part two of this video.